So I got a Corvette. Actually, no, I didn't. But this one did pique my curiosity because it has 37,000 miles on it, ish. 37,000 miles. I just, it just happened to pop up in my Facebook feed. And, you know, I was just kind of driving my other one around. I'm like, man, I'm pretty close. I may as well stop by and look at it. This is a fantastic example of a 1984 base model Corvette. And, uh, as far as uh, all the bells and whistles are concerned, I mean, it's not in perfect shape. Uh, the dealership's closed, so I can't get inside of it. But, you know, that might be something for later down the road. But it does appear to have the Doug Nash 4 Plus 3. And, you know, uh, which is kind of cool and all. But, and that, that's not going to work with me. Only defect I can really tell is... Right here there's a rock chip right there and it does appear like it's cracked the windshield is cracked so right off the bat you'd have to be in it a couple hundred bucks for a cracked windshield uh, and it really sucks because the weather stripping looks like it's in really good shape and that's that's kind of a bummer um, it is what it is though but you can tell the paint looks pretty golden i mean it it's literally yes it's gold but it looks like it's in pretty good shape i mean the paint i mean there's a couple of rock chips on it looks like something happened here and you know the beautiful thing is you don't have the dealership kind of breathing down your throat they want nine thousand dollars for this thing and i've already seen some well i'm never phrase that they want $9,999 for this thing. And I already see two defects that would make me not want to pay that for it. Yes, it's got 37,000 miles on it. Got some issue going on here. I don't know. When you look at these cars, you got to do your due diligence as far as uh, looking into things to see if body parts are cracked or you know things are just not how they should be and i'm pretty sure this car probably was sold or traded in because you know that happened some people don't want banged up stuff and that's completely understandable i don't like banged up stuff but most of the stuff i've got is uh salvage title you know rebuilt and stuff like that but kind of getting underneath it Keep in mind this is an upper Midwest car, so you are gonna have some rust and you know a little bit of here and there going on with it, you know, like you know, on the exhaust and stuff like that, you've got a little bit of rust there. That's gonna be normal. But especially on a C4, what you're gonna you know really be able to see is like right in here, uh, where I'm looking right in here. You'll be able to see rusty areas right in there like that. So uh, that's something that you're gonna need to look out for if you're looking for one of these. Also, you wanna make sure that the car hasn't been bellied out and that this area here isn't uh, cracked. Another thing, you wanna kinda check and see how old the tires are. 17, these aren't tires aren't too bad. I've got these same tires on my Crown Victoria. Police interceptor package, Crown Victoria. And they're not too bad, but they don't they leave very little desired to them. But anyway, it doesn't appear anything's messed up back there. But car looks pretty clean. Obviously it's got something leaking. It's a Chevy. What do you want? <laughs> but that being said, just giving it a once over like that. That right there, you guys can kind of see that. It's kind of fiberglass is cracked right there. There's a scuff mark there. And probably what happened if I were to venture a guess he probably bumped up against something I doubt this is somebody rolling into him 
although it could be damage starts here kind of goes back there you can see the bumper's been kind of messed with see how it kind of has the little pucker mark cracks scuffs a little crack there kind of bums me out you know but whatever and then you come over here and look at the other side of the bumper bumper straight there see how it looks there see the body lines here you look around like this body lines messed up you can see how the bumpers not where it should be now <laughs> kind of stepping back the car doesn't look really that bad a little bit of a scuff here something right back there but that could be residue from a previous uh, attempt at cleaning uh, can you guys even see that right there not bad mouth in the car it's a good looking car I don't see any dings on the side here there's a ding there a little cracking on the paint here you can kind of see it to catch the light just in a certain way a little bit of cracking there I don't know what do you guys think is it worth 10 grand I don't think so but uh, one thing is for sure this guy right here is probably the owner or the previous owner of this car probably local so if I offend you by pointing out all the flaws it's not my intention looks like nothing if you guys are interested in this car got them all not sponsored in any way by them and I've never bought a car from here but actually <clears throat> before I got my Corvette I come in here and there's a 95 sitting here right here red with the uh, black target top or the uh, bronze target top I was sitting there beautiful gorgeous car precursor to what I ended up getting and from time to time these guys here at Key get a Corvette in and they come in and look at it curious on the bottom the bottom here uh, that strip there is black underneath on mine, it's it plain as day. It's not. But yeah, whoever ends up buying this car, <laughs> yeah, I'll wave at you. Gold isn't particularly my favorite color, but I'm sure to float somebody's boat. And uh, believe it or not, the one that's in the Corvette Museum is white with blue cloth interior so if you can kind of picture a cloth interior that's what it looks like so 30 something thousand miles on it pretty sure the advertising is 7 thousand miles on it regardless it's a good looking car not perfect definitely in my opinion especially from what I've seen a little on the high side not saying it's not worth it I'm just saying it's not worth it to uh to a person like myself um another thing you want to look at when you look at cars like this you want to look at the rotors now kind of give you a good idea how much the car's been driven or if at all in recent in recent uh recent memory well anyway, if you guys like videos like this i might do videos like this uh yeah uh another one really quick thing uh 
this is the only year that featured the crossfire injection label on the side there. Uh, it was tuned port after, although, you know, yeah. Anyway, if you guys like videos like this, I'll make some more videos like this. Whenever I see a vet in the lot, C4 in particular, because I know more about C4s than pretty much any of the other vets. I'll stop and check it out. Show you guys. Thanks for watching, guys. Share the video. I gotta go, I gotta go. I wanna get in mine and drive a real Corvette. <laughs>